Click today at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel. This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. The United Nations demands international action to stop what it calls a shocking wave of brutality against civilians in Myanmar. I'm terrified of what is going to happen. I think this could be just the beginning of a wave of brutality that is going to be um, just even more shocking than what we've seen today. Ahead of a further easing of restrictions in England tomorrow, the Culture Secretary Oliver Dowden says the country is on track and he hopes lifting of curbs will be irreversible. At the moment, we are on track. So um, thanks to the work of the British people and the excellent vaccine rollout, we are confident both in going ahead with the, the easings from tomorrow and, and the next stages. English health officials warn people not to squander the gains made against coronavirus ahead of restrictions easing on Monday. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is urged to swiftly clarify how many COVID vaccine doses the UK is prepared to donate to poorer countries. The latest efforts to dislodge the ship, which is stuck in the Suez Canal, fail. They'll try again later Sunday. 5,000 people attend a trial rock concert in Barcelona to test the viability of holding large cultural events during the time of COVID. Hello, welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. 